That show was so funny. You should check it out. Um, Jess, are you even listening to me? Jessica Bermudez. Oh, sorry, Aubrey. I was distracted. Don't sweat it. I saw the way you were looking at Trevor. He's super cute. What do you know about him? Well, he's the captain of the football team. He's really athletic and... Does he have a girlfriend? I don't know, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Almost every girl wants to talk to him. I mean, it's worth a try. Okay, handle your business. I'm heading to third period. I've never been so nervous in my life. Come on, Jessica. You can do this. Ugh, the tardy bell. I'd better go to class. Good morning, class. Today we'll read Chapter 5 of To Kill a Mockingbird. Then we'll have a quiz on it on Friday. Hey, Temme. I heard that the newbie was making googly eyes at my boyfriend. No way. Way. I'm gonna teach her a lesson when class is over. As you should. But what are you gonna do? Well... Young ladies, no talking in the back. Now as I was saying, we're going into silent reading mode. Just the girl I was looking for. Um, is there a problem? You done right, there's a problem. You were looking at my boyfriend. Who's your boyfriend? Don't play stupid. It's Trevor. Black hair, brown eyes, facial hair. Wait, he's your boyfriend? Yes, and he doesn't like you that way. He's my property. First of all, he's not your property. He's just a human. You're probably too spoiled to realize that you're the one controlling him. Let me explain something to you. You don't know anything about me or my relationship. So far you to judge how I treat my man. I'm only gonna tell you once. Stay away from my boyfriend. Got it? Um, yeah, sure. Really, Ashley? Leave her alone. Stay out of this, Trevor. I'll handle this. I get that you're the self-proclaimed queen of the school, but that's no reason to bully people for no reason. I'm not bullying. I'm just letting her know her place. No, you were threatening her, and that's not cool. Either stop, or I'll tell the principal, slash your mother. Fine, but heed my warning next time. Sorry about that. She has control issues. How do you deal with her? She's a spoiled brat. Believe me when I say this. Not a day goes by that I want to break up with her, but she has connections if I do. What do you mean connections? Let's just say she'll make my life miserable if I even consider leaving her. You can't let her control you like that. You gotta stand up to her. You should be free love who you want. Love isn't forced, you know. Finally, someone who understands me. You don't know how much I needed to hear this. Thanks for the advice. No problem. I'm Jessica, by the way. I'm Trevor. Nice to meet you. We'd better get to class. Yeah. Aubrey, you'll never believe what happened. What is it, girl? Spill it. Turns out Trevor is actually Ashley's boyfriend. A oh, man, I should have known. But wait, there's more. Ashley was in the hall threatening me on my way to class. Then Trevor came to defend me. He expressed to me that he's not happy being with her. That means you have a chance with him. Oh no, you don't.
I thought I told you to stay away from my man. Like it's my fault we're in the same class. Quit being smart with me. You know what, Ashley? You are really annoying. You think everything revolves around you and you think it's okay to bully people. You hated Jessica ever since she came to this school. She's the one annoying me, stealing my spot in my boyfriend. She should just go back to her old school full of hoodlums. What's wrong? Did I struck a nerve? Jessica. Wait. Maybe she will think twice before stealing someone else as boyfriend. Ashley, that's enough. Um, Trevor? I cannot believe you said that to Jessica. She's had traumatic experiences at her old town, and you bought it up. What is wrong with you? Well, she had it coming, and I don't regret it. You're my boyfriend. Not anymore. During our whole relationship, I was mistreated by you mostly. I was more of a slave than a boyfriend to you. And I'm also sick of your spoiled entitled attitude. As of today, we're done. I'm officially breaking up with you. You do remember what'll happen when you dump me? Do what you have to. You're seriously leaving me for that newbie? First off, her name is Jessica. And second, I'm leaving you because of your attitude and your ways. If you want to make my life miserable like you said, do it. But it'll make everyone see how ugly you are, inside and out. <laughs> I'm not ugly. I'm the prettiest girl in the school. I hate you, Trevor. Ha 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 ha. Nice one, Trevor. I know her weakness. She's so full of herself. She hates being called ugly. But never mind that. I need to find Jessica. I hope she's okay. Hey Jessica, it's Trevor. Are you in there? I need to talk to you. I can't. Ashley made it very clear that she doesn't want us talking. Don't worry about her. I broke up with her. But why? I just couldn't stand the way she was treating you, so I wasn't going to be with someone who looks down on people. Good, you deserve to be happy. You know, even though we just met, I think you're a really sweet girl. But I'd be moving too fast if I asked if we could go steady. I agree, I'm still kinda new to this school, maybe we should start slow. Let's just be friends, for now. If that's what you want, then I'll respect your decision. See you in class. Today was kind of, interesting. I once again was a victim of Ashley's bullying, but a cute guy named Trevor defended me. We decided to take things slow before a commitment. But someday, Ashley's going to get what's coming to her. Ashley Elizabeth Crumbly, I'm very disappointed in you for what you did to that poor girl, you bullied her ever since she came to the school and bought up her old school. I did not raise you like that, as the principal, I'm giving you three weeks detention, but as your mother, you're grounded for three weeks. Go to your room now. What are...